Hello everyone, this is Armstrong Designs here again with another quick tutorial. Um, tonight we are going to extract a background from a photo. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open your image. Then you're going to drag and drop it into a new layer. Then you will go up to Filter, Extract, and you will get something like this. Then from here, what we are going to do zoom in and with this top tool here which is the edge highlighter tool you are going to go along the edges of the the background and the person that you want to separate so the first thing you need to do is change your brush size so that it is um, it's not too big but uh, it's in the, it will go over both the the skin of the person, like it'll go over the background and it'll also go over the person. So what you're going to do is you're just going to go along and highlight the edges of the person that you want to keep. So you will continue like this. And keep going here. And if, you, if you're having any trouble with this step, just play around with the brush. This is the, the main part of the extraction. So uh, if you want to get uh, a better quality extraction, you can use a smaller brush. You'll just have to zoom in more and uh, be much more precise with your uh, tracing. But uh, I'm just doing a really quick one here. So I'm just going nice and quick. The brush isn't too big. go around the edges keep going through the hair just like this alright so you've got this zoom out here for you you've got this and you have your person outlined in green and what you're gonna do is use this paint bucket and you are going to click inside and what uh, what uh, the paint bucket will turn the inside of this blue like this and whatever is blue is what you're going to keep and what isn't blue is what is going to be extracted so what you're going to do is hit preview and that's what you have so far so to touch this up much better you're going to go over here and use the cleanup tool and this is just to clean up around the edges to uh, help with uh, making things much smoother. So you're just going to go along the edges that uh, didn't get deleted but you wanted them to be deleted. And as you can see right here it's a little bit off but that's just because my brush tool is a little bit too big. Um, but you'll just clean up the edges around their person here. And then go up to the hair and you're obviously going to need to erase some stuff with the hair so change your brush size down so you can get in between the hair without having to erase the actual hair you'll erase it just like this and then just keep going here just like this here keep touching up till uh, you find it looks good for your liking nice and smooth um, just play with it as much as you can as much as you want to make it um, so that uh, when you put a new background this on a new background it is nice and smooth and you don't it uh, it looks like it belongs alright now once you've finished with the cleanup tool what you're gonna do is use the one tool right under it and it's called the edge touch up tool and this is basically just uh, highlighting the edges of your photo to uh, get, um, make it stand out a little more. So just zoom into the edges and you'll notice that the edges are getting darker so you're defining the edges more. And this just helps it so that you know it uh, smooths everything out 
It makes it so that you know where the edges are, and uh, everything becomes much more, uh, much more real. Everything's smoother. Everything's much more crisp. So what you're going to do is just go along the edges of everything and uh, continue with this edge tool. Alright, now this is what we have right now, and once that you're finished with that, you will click OK, and then minimize or uh, turn off the normal background, and you will see what, what you left over. So if you wanted to create your own background, you could open a new layer, say you wanted to make some sort of gradient, like a Let's make it a black and yellow. I'm going to go right here. Say something like that. And this. Okay. And then make your gradient. Put that in the background. And as you can see, you'll there's a little more touch-ups that you can do with uh, that. And you can just use the erase tool for that right in here. And uh, just to edit it. The, the hair a little bit more, the background, just make it much, much more crisp. But as you can see, it is very, very easy and much more effective than using the magic wand or the magnetic trace or the lasso or any of that. So uh, I hope this helped. Um, if you have any other questions, you want to request a tutorial, um, please feel free to give me an email. Um, I hope this helped and uh, this is uh, Armstrong Designs, and uh, have a good day. Thank you very much.